He once caught a dink just to see how it feels. Karens yell at themselves when he fishes near their docks. To make it fair for other fishermen, he has his own opening day. Fish post pictures of him on Instagram. He is the most interesting fisherman in the world. Stay fishing, my friends. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Fishing with Rock Officials. Uh, official. Today we're testing out planer boards, also known as the walleye board. We got this from DNR Sporting Goods. May a long weekend. Let's catch some fish. Let's catch some fish. We are targeting uh, pike, possibly lake trout, and maybe brook trout. <laughs> Let's open it up. <laughs> it's pretty simple. All you need is to screw out the screws. Oh, oh. Is it a snag or a fish? Snag. Okay. Sorry, we have a minor snag. Almost got spooled. Anyways, back to the process. Take these screws out. Put these screws in here. Screw them in, obviously. So we're probably gonna let out like 30 feet of line and um, we will see what happens. We're gonna be using the Fire Tiger Rapala. I don't actually know the name because we got it from this tackle box off of Facebook Marketplace. Uh, I don't really know the name of this thing, but I know it's a Rapala. It's a pretty big fire tiger lure, about maybe four inches long. So the weight always has to be down. Um, yeah, pull this little peg thing. It's spring loaded, so you don't really need to worry about it. Push it down. So you guys, it's like a downrigger where you pinch this open and then you just like put the sugar and line it. And then, yeah, you're good to go. Oh yeah, port uh, left. So we have another right side. And let's throw it out there. I'm pretty sure you can guess by where it is. It's meant to send your lure out farther so that you can cover more area of water so you can catch more fish. So here on Lake Superior, we're allowed to use four lines. So if it's just me and my dad making a video, we'll be able to cover lots of water. You guys honestly will not believe it. So you guys might be thinking, why are you downrigging in about nine meters of water? Well, we're not. We're just using the downrigger holder to hold our rod. I actually think I had a bump. <laughs> so now I can throw this behemoth of a lure kind of uh, way back there in the middle so that we won't get tangled. More lines and four rods are catching something. Oh, it's got a slam scar! Oh, really? It's 
it's got a lamprey scar on the other side of its gill. There's the never fail scoop. Yeah, lamprey scar right there. Well, here's the first lake trout of 2023. First open water fish as well. Wow. Check out that scar it has. There you go, folks. Planner boards work. After we caught the lake trout, my little bro got seasick. It was pretty windy, so my dad and I cast around for some pike, and we found one. Not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> Yay, we got one. We got one pike Don't get skunked. Here we are back at home, measuring our catches. One healthy pike and another good lake trout. Sorry we didn't show you in the boat, but uh, here's the pike we caught. Really nice pike. Look at the back. How long is it? I'm predicting 27. Oh crap, I'm totally wrong. Oh, it's fins to 30 and a quarter. 30 inches on the dot. Now for the lake trout. Oh, I was in, oh man. It's uh, just a hair, well for this thing it's 26. 26 ain't bad at all, folks. 26, oh yeah, there it is. 26 ain't bad, folks, not at all. So, these things get a lot bigger on Lake Superior, but this is our biggest one we've ever caught on Lake Superior. Not as big as the one we caught at Brown's. Go check out that video. Link is right here. Click it. Click it. First time doing smoking. Yay! Here we go. This is the trout. Oh yeah, mm, I love salt. Oh, tastes like chicken. Here's the lake trout from Lake Superior. Mm, pretty good. Thanks for watching. Hope you like and subscribe.